Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palitska International, Neil Artist and Educator here and today we are going to do a beautiful cat eye scenery with a little bit of the sugar and those fantastic effects. You can have a wee preview in here. Yeah, so this is going to be a beautiful uh, design. <laughs> my dog is trying to get in here, say hello. Oh, he's trying to come and say hello. Uh, that is lucky. Say hello. <laughs> he doesn't know what is going on. Anyway, this is going to be a beautiful cat eye um, design with a little bit of the sugar. And I will show you and explain the easiest way how to create this beautiful uh, design. I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial. Let's start. So I'm going to use the cut eye, I think that's the blue one, number four, no that's the purple one, that's the blue one, so it's a number zero three. Just put a uh, tiny bit of it on the side, uh, above the tip, and we are going to paint those beautiful design. I think it's actually fun to create all those different designs with the cut eye. Look, so I'm going to start painting with, um, with the cut eye first. Okay, and this is going to be a kind of river. So make it wavy. Like really nice and wavy. Color that in. And then using the mat in it, get the cut eye effect. Okay, so I've got my magnet and I'm pushing the bits and pieces just to show those beautiful blue color. And I want the top part to be a bit darker and the bottom a little bit lighter. So I'm going to push it a bit more from the top. And that gives me a really nice effect. Give it a cure. So this is a super quick design. Um, like, and I think for the winter time it's absolutely fantastic. So I might show you actually two of them. I'm just going to buff the tip. Actually, we could make like a continuation of it. Yeah, that's what we are going to do. So let me check it. So if the river goes this way, I wanted it to continue. on this tip too. And the more it goes to the top, the smaller it becomes, okay? That's just great. So do exactly the same. Give it a cure. And now we are going to paint the background with the snow. So I'm using the silver cut eye. Kind of messy look because we will ha uh, cover it with the snow as well anyway. Ok, 
get the effect. So I wanted it to be lots on the bottom and almost nothing on the top. And because we have made it, it kind of messy, it will look like a wee mountains of the snow. And here I wanted it to go to the top. Give it a cure. <laughs> And do exactly the same on this one. So I'm just cleaning my brush. Piles of the snow, make it kind of messy. And then get the cat eye effect. Push it from the bottom so it's more visible and give it a cure. Okay, our next step is to start painting the snow. And I'm going to use the paint on French gel for that. So I've got a bit of it on the side. Now I've got also kind of messy brush, but you could use any kind of messy brush. Just dab it in and start painting the snow on the bottom. So just a touches, touch, touch. Okay, so this way we have created like a kind of snowy background. And now is the time to paint a beautiful winter tree. So the bottom is going to be a little bit thicker. And then branches. Don't paint them straight, uh, kind of paint them shaky. So what I'm always doing is start from the bottom of the tree and then start wiggling. Then again we go. So nice and thin. I'm just going to add a drop of the top coat to make uh, it's kind of freezing today. So my gel is a little bit cold and the colder the gel is, the thicker it has the consistency. So it's a little bit harder to paint with it. So I have added a drop of the top coat and now I should be able to get much thinner lines. And I'm able to paint quicker as well. So actually the more shaky hands you've got, the nicer results you will get. Okay, and now from those top branches, I want a couple more smaller ones. And this way we have painted a really nice and beautiful tree. We want to also paint some bushes. So again, very shaky hand. And the one on the top. Then I'm going to take a uh, brush and give it a couple of the snowflakes and the leaves 
on the top one, give it a cure. Actually, I need to just double check it quickly. So if we've got the branches in there, I could paint a wee tree on this one as well. Maybe here we will paint the Christmas tree. Okay, so first of all, I'm just painting those um, indication another bush in here and then give it a cure I think it will be also beautiful to have some kind of Hi, like an you know uh, aurora borealis is it called <laughs> just on the background and i will be using those two colors for that so i'm cleaning my brush really properly and i'm just going to give it those kind of nice look to it I don't want it to be too strong because the water has to be the main kind of uh, focus and then tiny bit of it in here So fade it like with the little lines. And then give it a cure. Okay, I'm dipping in my brush again. So I want to get more of the snow on my bushes. Could actually even mix it with the top coat just so it's not as strong. So lots of lots of small touches. Give it a cure and do exactly the same on this one as well. So pretty nice and relaxing painting. Okay, a bit of the snow on the bottom. And what I love about it, we've got those tiny wee places where the cat eye is going to kind of see through it. Uh, from the bottom now we need to finish also the Christmas tree so just couple more those kind of uh, top coat and the white just so it's not as strong and then give it a cure okay. 
Now we are going to apply the top coat and it has to be a matte top coat and then finish it all with the detail. Once we do the detail, everything just becomes looking so pretty. So I'm applying a matte top coat on the entire design. And then give it a cure. I love like um, the combination of different techniques and different products. I think it's absolutely fantastic way of creating some different type of designs. And then give it a cure. Okay, now I'm going to put a high shine, uh, no white top gel and some white gel as well to create the snow effect and for snow effect we are going to use uh, some indigo snow effect I'm going to show you guys so that's a snow effect so we'll have like a combination of different different styles um, let's actually start from the snow first So I want a pile of the snow in here. I'm just grabbing more of the paint on French gel. Nice and shaky look, make a mountain out of the snow. Okay, same in here. So that's the piles of the snow. And then in some places I want to add a tiny bit more snow as well. lots of lots of tiny dots I'm actually don't want to damage my brush guys I'm going to swap for some old one because the dots are very damaging for the brush like we tend to bend the tip of the brush and then The brush gets damaged. So I love the fact like we've got almost like a background composition with those uh, milky white. And now we are just adding the detail with the snow on top of it. Same on the branches. So lots of lots of wee dots. Okay, and then once I'm happy with it, I actually give it a bit more snow here. I can uh, sprinkle it with the sugar effect. Remove the excess of it and then put it inside the lamp. And we are going to do exactly the same on this one. So the piles of the snow. Okay, 
we do maybe one more in here. Okay, tiny bit in there. And then dots. Lots of lots of little dots. I actually really love cat eyes uh, for this time of the year. I think they look fantastic. And now the dots on the Christmas tree. It's not a Christmas tree, it's a, <laughs> it's a tree. The evergreen tree. Oh gosh, I don't know the English name for it. This is so bad. So lots of lots of dots. Kind of almost shaky hand, really, guys. Okay, and sprinkle it as well. Remove the excess. And our first tip cure, so we can move on and make it the parts which we want to stand out shiny. So I'm going to use my brush to remove excess of the glitter. And then apply the top coat only on some places. So a high shine, no wipe top gel. I clean my brush because I had some white on top of it. And then apply the top coat. You could almost even apply it as a waves, but I'm going to cover all the new, uh, all the place. Just so the cut eye effect is nice and visible. So I think it's a pretty nice wintery scenery. Okay, and we also need a tiny bit on the top as well. I'm sorry guys, I had the phone call running. Okay, and then the sky to be visible as well. And then pop it inside the lamp and do just exactly the same on this tip. So I'm just removing, actually I will go quicker with the brush. And then just at the edges I will use my small brush. And I kind of like that we've got those matte effect as well. Looks like someone really tried to get me. I will call them back. Ok, 
okay so just touch up those detail at the edges and then give it a cure as well so i can show you a final results and what i love about the cut eye effect is that depending at the angle we look at it it looks slightly different so here we are it's on it looks like a water is there and it's moving so it is not a um, complicated design and I hope you have really enjoyed watching uh, how to create this look. I've got my next one ready as well. And I think it will be really nice to show you both of them. So we've got those kind of winter scenery. Let me know if you want to see more cut eye designs because I think this is a fantastic way of creating some slightly different, uh, more interesting designs. Someone really tried to get me hurt. Uh, but yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you think on those uh, cat eye designs. I think I really love them. Glittery hacks and bye for now.